time cooler weather expected here in West Michigan. That's why the weather ball is blue. The view brought to you by West Michigan Ace Hardware Stores. There's the front racing across Pennsylvania and New York State. Uh, it arrived last night with very little in the way of thunderstorm activity. The big reason for that widespread cloud cover kind of stifled the instability around the region. 64 in Kalamazoo, 63 in Ionia, 61 in Fremont. Dew point numbers, this is the best measure of how much moisture is in the air. These were well into the 60s yesterday. These are finally starting to fall, and this is going to make it feel awfully nice around the region today. Uh, this was the view a couple evenings ago from the brand new bridge over the Grand River in Lowell. Thank you to Terry for the share via Twitter. If you have any pictures you'd like to share, keep them coming on social media. The latest on Dorian, packing winds of 125 miles per hour just to the east of Jacksonville and Daytona Beach. This is bringing a lot of rain, wind, and up to seven foot storm surges to coastal portions of Florida and Georgia. The forecast takes this awfully close to Charleston and uh, Cape Hatteras. This could briefly make landfall somewhere in the Carolinas tomorrow or early Friday as it weakens and pulls away from land. But this obviously could have been much, much worse for folks in the southeast than what we're seeing. The next 48 hours includes plenty of sunshine today, light winds, and that's going to keep our temperatures actually a few degrees below average. By late Friday, we'll be watching the next system sliding south, reinforcing this cool air mass and providing a few more clouds, but precipitation will be limited. Lake Michigan still angry. Small craft advisories, waves not quite as impressive as they were on Tuesday, but still three to five footers uh, a day to stay away from the piers. Again, your 13 on target forecast. So cooler than average air sticking around the first half of this 10 day. This upcoming weekend looks beautiful, but cool. Highs in the low and mid 70s and then scattered thunderstorms along with warmer, muggier air next week. We're back in the low 80s next Tuesday.